In this video, I'll show you how to publish a simple EPUB file directly from Pages. So let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do is choose a blank template in Pages. Now you must start with a blank template to publish to EPUB since you'll need to control all the formatting uh, and styles yourself. So I've already uh, removed all the formatting from my text and I'm going to paste it into my blank Pages document. So I'm going to access the style drawer uh, by clicking the blue icon in the upper left corner of the screen. And that will show me all the styles that I can apply back to my unformatted text. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just apply the body paragraph style to all of my text. Uh, and I'm doing that because most of my text will have that style. So I'll just go ahead and apply it to everything and then go back and, and make changes where I need to. And for this text, I've decided that each part of the book will be a chapter. And each section um, that's already identified in the text will also be a section in my EPUB. And I want all the chapters to be identified using the Heading 1 style. And all the sections will be identified by the Heading 2 style. So to add the Heading 1 style to the text, I'll select it and choose the Heading 1 style from the Styles drawer. And now I'll change the style of my section headers to Heading 2. Now in this document, those are really all of the styles that I want to use. So um, I'll go ahead and close this and open a version of the document in which I've already applied all of my Heading 1 and Heading 2 styles where I need to throughout the document. Okay, so now that that's done, um, my next step is to create a table of contents. And I need to do this here uh, because that actually becomes my table of contents in my finished ebook. So to create that, uh, just go to the Insert menu, then choose Table of Contents. And notice I'm creating my table of contents on the first page before my text begins. And I'll just add a page break now so that that's all that there is on this page. This is a very important point to make. Instead of adding returns or spaces to separate your text, if you want a page break, um, say at the end of a chapter or the end of a section, add those in pages um, instead of just adding returns or things like that. Because that's the only way that it will display correctly once you publish to EPUB. Okay, and so now my document inspector pops up to help me out, going back to the table of contents. Um, here I'll leave uh, checked any text formatting that I want to appear in the table of contents. Um, in my case, everything that's a heading one or a heading two, I want that to appear in the table of contents. Okay, so once I do that, you can see that Pages builds my table of contents for me. And when I publish to EPUB format, I'll be able to tap these to navigate through my book. OK, now I have just one more thing left to do, uh, which is to create the book cover. In Pages, the first page of the document becomes the book cover. So that's where I'll put uh, the book title and author and an image that makes it easy to recognize uh, my book on the bookshelf. Now I've actually already done that in another document to save time. so. I'll open that up to show you. So here's my book cover, uh, table of contents, my chapter and sections all formatted uh, the way that I want them. And I just got this image for the cover from uh, the original text and I've also placed some images uh, that appeared in the original text into my um, into my pages document and those images will be published right along with the text when I publish my EPUB file. The only thing that's left to do at this point um, I have I have my table of contents, I have my book cover, I have my chapters and sections all formatted the way I want them. Um, really all that's left to do is to publish to EPUB format. To do that you would go to File Export and choose EPUB 
and here you type in title and author information. Click Next uh, and save the file. To view the file, all you need to do is open it in an e-reader or other mobile device like an iPad. And uh, you can, once you open it, you'll see it there on your bookshelf and you can access it later. Okay, and here's what my published EPUB looks like on my iBooks bookshelf. And I'll just tap the file to open it. And as you can see, I can just page through by either using the slider at the bottom of the screen or by just flipping through the pages. And all of my formatting that I set up in pages was retained when I published, and it has all of the EPUB functionality that you'd expect to find. And if I tap here, I can view the table of contents. I can navigate to any of the sections from here. And once I'm at any point in the book, I can always just continue to flip through from that point. I can bookmark, I can change the font size uh, or brightness. And I can even change what type of font I'm using. Now I can also search for a term. And I can select one of these results uh, to go to that page. And I can also highlight some text and write a note. I can see my notes by going back to the table of contents and choosing the notes tab. I can also uh, see my bookmarks by choosing the bookmarks tab. And I can always return to the page I was last on by touching the resume button. And finally I can touch library to close the book and return to my bookshelf. I hope I've been able to guide you through the process of creating a fully functional EPUB file directly from pages. Thank you for watching.